Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I've done a video kind of like this, but somebody just asked about it. If you have, we have, um, and this is a good way to show you a count. We've got 117 uh, circles on this page, and they're all two inches. And let's say you want them to two and a half inches. Well, you'd have to go by there and change each individual one. Well, with a, a macro from Eskimo that is, uh, I can't really remember the name of it, uh, but it remains, and I have a link to the macro at the bottom of the video. It's, uh, well, let's go to my macros. Go to Windows, no, excuse me, go to Tools, Scripts, and Scripts, and there it is right there. Adjust Objects Remain Position. So it's going to adjust the object, but it's going to keep the position. And you can tell it what position you want if you want center, center, or center left. You know, you want it to the top. So we could change them all and have them grow that way or from the center. So I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to make them 1.75. No, you know what? We're going to go 2.5 to see what they look like. 2.5. And then hit this right here takes just a second because it's having a lot of work to do. And if you look just a second, it's going to change those um, objects to two and a half inches at one time. So it changed all your circles uh, without changing the position. Let's back up here and just see what it looks like. It does take a little bit of time because we've got so many. So let's select them all. But this time, let's have it change it to the left and top of the X and Y and hit apply. So now it's gonna put them out of position. There still should be all uniformly apart, but it just changed the position of them. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but if we back up and if you watch this one right here, kind of jump back. So I will have a link to this macro at the bottom of the video. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.